Welcome to Ask Emma. Today we're covering sepsis coding. This is a follow-up from our live event, Supporting Sepsis, From Claim Denials to Diagnosis, presented by Christy Pollard. Let's get started. Can you please clarify if we can assume whether lactic acidosis due to sepsis is severe sepsis? This is a controversial topic among coders, CDI professionals, and payers, so the best practice solution is foolproof documentation. The physician should clearly document severe sepsis with lactic acidosis to use the severe sepsis code. Lactic acidosis can be caused by many conditions, and the patient's entire clinical picture must be considered. So the best practice solution is for the physician to make that link in his documentation. What is the difference between code 085 for postpartum sepsis and 086.04 for sepsis due to an infected obstetrical wound? Aren't all obstetrical wounds considered postpartum? Although there is nothing official regarding the difference between these two codes, it is our interpretation based on the official coding guidelines that code 086.04 should be used for post-procedural sepsis. That would include sepsis caused by cesarean section wounds and perineal lacerations. We believe 085 should be used for non-procedural causes of postpartum sepsis such as chorioamnionitis. We realize that a Coding Clinic article from 4th quarter 2018 includes advice that recommends using code 085 for a C-section wound sepsis. This is in conflict with the official coding guidelines and we have submitted a letter to the Coding Clinic for clarification. We recommend reviewing coding clinic issues as they are released to ensure you are following the latest coding advice. During the live event, you mentioned that if acute organ dysfunction is documented and the patient has sepsis, to code it as severe sepsis unless the physician documents another cause of the organ dysfunction. What if the physician documents sepsis and acute respiratory failure due to pneumonia? Can you assume this is severe sepsis since the pneumonia probably led to the sepsis? This is a tricky one. To be on the safe side, we recommend a query to specifically link the acute respiratory failure to the sepsis. Remember that we are coding according to the sepsis 2 criteria and if another cause of organ dysfunction is documented, we cannot make the jump to severe sepsis. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit our marketplace for upcoming events. If you need additional education on this topic, check out our link below to our web-based training on certain infectious and parasitic diseases. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on everything from the Haugen Consulting Group. We'll see you next time.